Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Platter. Today we'll see what is cloud computing and its key characteristics. What is cloud computing? On the screen is from NIST 800-145. The NIST special publication 800-145 is for cloud concepts and definition. You can see a lot of words here, right? Like ubiquitous, convenient, shared pool, rapidly provisioned, minimal service provider interaction, on-demand network access. You don't have to worry about these now. We will talk about all of these terms when we discuss the key characteristics of cloud computing. Computing. For now, just understand that cloud computing is a delivery model which provides all these services that you can see in this picture. Like for example, networking, server, storage, a number of applications to its customers. Now let's talk about the key characteristics of cloud computing. The first characteristic of cloud computing is on-demand self-service. Because of this characteristic, right? The customer can rapidly provision the resources without any or minimal interaction with the cloud service provider. So what happens in the traditional environment? If you want to get a server, right? You will have to request for it. The request will have to get picked up by say the infrastructure team. They will ask for your manager approval. Then you have to get it approved. Once it is approved, you have to justify why you need this resource and then the infrastructure team would take its own sweet time to get you a server. This might take like several days or even weeks, but this happens in cloud with a click of a button. This is an amazing feature, but it comes with its own disadvantages, like for example, lack of governance. This feature on demand self service provides the ability for the users to, you know, spin up their own resources, like for example, VMs, virtual machines by themselves without any process provisioning or approval this can lead to lack of governance and eventually lead to you know violating the organizational policies this can result in something called a shadow IT. Shadow IT occurs when cloud users access and use cloud systems and resources that have not been authorized by their organization. Okay, This can add up to a lot of cost to the organization. This is sometimes called as an expense of no use. The next key feature that we will talk about is broad network access. The slogan of this characteristic is access what you want when you need from any location from any device over the internet. This offers the always on or always accessible feature. Broadband network access also comes with cons that is disadvantages. Uh, like for example, if the data can be accessed from any location and the data can be in any location, right? Legal compliance is becomes very complicated. Also, we need to consider bring your own devices. We'll have to consider how we manage these devices. Not all personal devices are set with the security level that matches with that of the organization, right? How to provide secure access from bring your own devices to the resources. So there are many complications here as well. Well, the next key characteristic is resource pooling and multi-tenancy. Both of them work together. This talks about abstraction and a portion of resources across multiple consumers. This is one of the most important concepts of cloud computing. This forms the basis of cloud computing. In traditional environment, right, most of the resources are either underutilized or overutilized. For example, during their peak hours, uh, a traditional server might be taking 90% of its resource utilization. And during the other times, only 10% 10, uh, 10 of its resource utilization. So either you're wasting it or overusing it. This is not a problem in cloud because cloud services are grouped together or you know pooled together and shared among multiple customers. Then when one customer server needs more resources, right? Cloud service provider allocates more resources to that server. When the same server has less load, the very same resources are allocated to the other customer's server. This is done in a very systematic way and make sure there is no resource wastage. Now let's see about the cons associated with resource pooling and multi-tenancy. The auditing becomes difficult because of resource pooling and multi-tenancy. Also because multiple customers 
are sharing the resources there can be resource exhaustion for one customer because the other customer took up all the resources right there can be inference there can be information leakage from uh, you know one vm to another vm or from vm to hypervisor also forensics becomes very difficult data destruction is very complicated because multiple customers are uh, using the same resources and you don't have access to everything other than what is allocated to you also because a large set of resources are pooled together maybe these resources from different locations right location control is very difficult and this might complicate the compliance the next topic is rapid elasticity let's talk about scaling before we try to understand what is rapid elasticity this picture here shows us how scaling works scaling is the process of adding or removing resources this can also be called as provisioning or deprovisioning of resources suppose say you have a virtual machine cloud provides you a way to increase or decrease the size of the vm or amount of vms based on the demand when i say size it means power of the vm that can be cpu memory storage network bandwidth right if the power of the vm increases like this then it is called as scaling up if it decreases then it is called scaling down and scaling up and scaling down is together called as vertical scaling here we are increasing the size of the vm there is only one vm and we are increasing or decreasing the size of that vm then there is something called as horizontal scaling here the amount of vms the number of vms we are increasing or decreasing scaling in is where you decrease the number of vms scaling out is where you increase the number of vms now that you understand what is scaling it is very easy to understand rapid elasticity because rapid elasticity is nothing but dynamic scaling so you don't have to do it manually but automatically the scaling happens as per the demand so let's talk about the cons of rapid elasticity one of the cons is abuse of cloud services like for example there is a dos attack on one of your vms right that can result in provisioning a lot of resources hence increasing the cost the next key characteristic that we will talk about is measured service this is also called called as pay as you go so here the customers are charged only for the resources that they use it's just like you know paying your electric or water bill this is one of the most attractive features of cloud computing from a cost perspective in cloud right you can actually granularly measure resource usage control it report it or get alerted when you near or exceed the maximum usage limit that's it for today thank you so much for watching i will see you in another video with another topic until then take care bye bye